Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Trusty Rusty Depot, and today we're delving into our first lesson about the Rust programming language. We're starting with the Cargo tool. Now, Cargo is the package manager for Rust, and it allows you to recompile and run your programs reliably and repeatedly so that they are always the same build. To do that, you need a metadata file, which comes in the form of the cargo.toml file, which I will show you in a bit, which has all of the human edited definitions about the dependencies that are needed and the versions of the dependencies. In order to create a program at first, we're going to go to our terminal, and I'm going to go into my workspace folder. In order to create a new program, we're going to run the command cargo new and then a name. And then we can either put dash dash bin or lib. This means that we can either create lib or library or bin or binary. For most of the time, we're going to be using a binary. So for today, we're just going to put bin here and then we can run. And it says it created a binary application example package. Now, if we go into example folder, which was created, first of all, if we run the ls command to list the folders here, we can see that we have a source folder and a cargo.toml file. These are the important ones. So if we go inside of our source folder, we can see that we have a main.rs file. This is the main file hence the name main, where all of the code will go. And the .rs extension is the Rust file extension. If we go inside the main.rs file, we can see that we are already given some code to start with. What this code does is it just prints in our terminal, hello world. And if we try to run this by saying the command cargo run, it will compile our code and it will print hello world. Now another option we have is to put the dash dash release option or flag behind it. This will make some optimizations so that the code will ultimately run faster. However, the downside to this is that the compile time is longer. So now we can see that it runs and we get the same output as before. Now we can take a look inside the cargo.toml file, which is the manifest file of the program. It defines all of the needed things to run the program. For example, the name and the version of the package and also the dependencies down here. So we can define dependencies here, and you'll see how we do that later in a different video when we do some examples. And this is where they will all be put. Cargo will read them from here and compile them when we run our program. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.